In this video, we're going to see how you can link certain printer templates, payment terminals, and more to particular devices. So this can be really handy if you have a situation where you have lots of different iPads, floors, payment terminals, and you want to have certain iPads default to certain things. So right now I'm under the devices. And first I'm going to edit my bar device. So I've already named a bar so I can easily tell which one it is in the restaurant manager. And then all I'm going to do is go over here and click on the little pen to edit. So the things that you can link are the settings profile. So right now I have an option for a bar profile or a main profile settings. So for my bar iPad, I will select the bar profile. The main template, which refers to the receipt. So I can default to always print to a specific receipt or if I select no receipt template, it's going to ask me every time where I would like to print that receipt. So in this situation, I want my bar iPad to always default to print the bar receipt. The bar template and the kitchen templates work a little bit differently. You have the option to select a default template, um, but if you select no bar template and you have multiple different types of that template, it will automatically print to both. So for my drink orders, I want my orders placed on the bar iPad to print at my bar drinks printer. And then my orders that would be placed on the dining room iPad, I would have them print to my dining room drinks printer. So I'm going to select bar drinks. And then for my kitchen template, no matter where in my bar and restaurant people order their food, I want it to go to both printers, um, depending on which categories have been set up to print to which printer. So for this one, I'm going to select no kitchen template so that things that have been set up to print to the kitchen cold printer will go there and things that have been set up to the kitchen hot printer will go there. So I will select no kitchen template. Down here, you have the ability to also select a cash draw. So what this does is this tells Lightspeed that all the cash that's taken in on this iPad will be calculated as going directly into this cash draw rather than say having your waiters carry the cash on them. So in the situation of my bar, I do want them to put the cash directly in the cash drawer. So I'm going to select bar cash drawer here to link my bar device to the bar cash drawer. You also have the option of linking an RFID reader and you can also set a default floor. For example, if you select no default floor, it's automatically just going to default to whatever is the first floor plan that you have. But you do have the option of selecting a default floor. So since this is the bar iPad, I will select bar as the default floor. And uh, lastly, you have the option to link a payment terminal. So similar to the receipts, if you select no default payment terminal, it's going to ask you every time which payment terminal you would like to use. Um, otherwise, you can select a default terminal, so I'm going to link it to my bar terminal. And then, of course, you just want to make sure you save in the top right to save all those settings that you've placed. 